Good morning, folks. I'm meteorologist Jim Howard, and this is your latest WITN first alert forecast on this Monday, June 24th. Uh, first alert weather day today. Uh, why not the heat, uh, but the risk for big storms? Still going to be blazing hot, but just below uh, that heat advisory criteria today. Take a look at the headlines. Uh, the air temp pushing up towards probably 93, 94 uh, later this afternoon with a southwest wind at 10 to 15 plus. Uh, front approaching later today. Going to bring some storms in here probably early afternoon-ish initially and then kind of hit and miss through sunset or right up to dinner time to sunset with some isolated strong storms. Here's what I'm looking at. I'm going to target a 2 to 8 p.m. window, primarily a, a strong wind slash hail risk here, a low tornado risk, and that's good news. But a wind gust over 60 possible with a storm or two, heavy downpours if you catch a storm. And I think many of us will before the day is done. Some of us will miss them. I'm hoping I can get one. We need the rain out there. Half an inch of rain plus with some of those storms if you catch one. And then again, a hailstone or two larger uh, than an inch in diameter. Hit or miss, 2 to 8 p.m. Be weather aware uh, later this afternoon, folks. That's severe storm risk. It's a marginal risk, not a slight risk. Level one marginal risk. Uh, generally, most of eastern North Carolina as we get into that early afternoon period. Again, not an explosive major outbreak of severe weather, but an isolated strong storm or two later today. And this is the front that will kick it off. Still back to the west. Uh, this is back at around 4 a.m., 4, 4.30 a.m. Generally quiet. A few storms around the northern state line. I think they'll stay up there uh, this morning. So let me get you to midday. Once these air temps perk right back into the 90s uh, by midday as the clouds break a bit. See that 95, New Bern, Jacksonville. Plenty of heat to fuel these storms that pop up. This is 2 p.m. Storms starting to percolate and pop. Working through the area, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 o'clock, uh, 9, 10 o'clock, those storms are off the map generally, just about a done deal. All right, we'll clear them out for sure by 10, 11 o'clock, and then get those skies cleared out after midnight tonight. So if you catch a storm again, half an inch of rain, maybe a little more, this model's trying to spit out a 1 plus to 2 inch rain total. I think that's a little generous, half an inch to maybe an inch here or there. Uh, further to the west, not much. Primarily, remember that severe risk area I showed you? Generally along that area and eastward. Starting off the day with some upper 70s, warm and muggy out there. Uh, that wind coming up out of the southwest, driving that mercury into the low to mid 90s this afternoon. That heat index will push towards 105. Here's the air temp, 94, 93 tomorrow. What's the difference in the heat index today, tomorrow? Less humidity tomorrow, and this graphic tells the story. Uh, feeling like we're close to 106 this afternoon for an hour or two. Tomorrow, 98. It doesn't sound like a big deal, but compared to this, that's a much better day tomorrow, folks, uh, as we feel 10 degrees cooler anyway. The thermometer is still going to say 93 tomorrow, but maybe a 5-degree jump on the heat index. All right, there's the big map. I showed you this front coming through later today. There's the front this afternoon, evening, working through the area. We'll go quiet tonight, and again, less humidity with that north breeze tomorrow. But guess what? <laughs> Knocking at the door. The hot air is coming right back Wednesday. Wednesday will be another first alert weather day. Highs mid to upper 90s. Heat index back into that 105 plus range for several hours. That heat just jumps right back in here. Thursday, another front approaches. Chance for a few more bigger storms Thursday afternoon, evening. Try to break the heat a little bit Friday, but I really think it's just going to roll right back in. We head into the weekend. We just can't get out of it. Uh, watch the air temps. Bam! 111. Little Rock, Arkansas. That's the feels like now, the heat index numbers. Uh, some areas 115-ish or so. Uh, we've got our 105 today and then tomorrow again. We break the heat a bit with those uh, feels like in the mid to upper 90s, probably upper 90s. Man, oh man, that heat's locked in back to the west, so it's going to push right back in here. First lower weather day today for the storm risk, 94 on the thermometer. Tomorrow, a nicer 93, less humidity. And then Wednesday, 97. Uh, the heat cranks back up with the heat index pushing 107, perhaps into the afternoon. Severe storm risk, maybe again Thursday. Might end up with another first alert weather day there. And then Friday, Saturday, pretty quiet, still in the 90s. Uh, not much, if any, rain. Rain chance perks back up Sunday. Monday also perking back up. The heat back to 96 on Sunday.